So Stephen A is back at it again. I spoke yesterday about Kyrie Irving now officially not being able to play at all for the Nets, right? I said previously maybe, you know, he's not vaccinated. He can't play in Brooklyn. Uh, maybe he could play away games. But the general manager came out and said if Kyrie cannot participate full-time, then Kyrie cannot participate at all for this organization. And I also mentioned how I felt the media was trying to drive a wedge that may not have potentially been there between Kevin Durant and Kyrie by Stephen A. saying that he's hearing reports, he's hearing chatter, that KD is soon to walk up to the upper upper rooms, upper management executive suites, and tell them just to get Kyrie out of here. We don't have time for the drama. We ain't got time for the BS. Now, I've been a defender of Stephen A. Smith. Um, I think he's entertaining. I don't necessarily think what he does is harmful. Even, you know, people say he's a coon, he's this, he's that. I, I tend to shy away from terms like that. But something about this vaccine thing has people coming out to speak uh, harshly about people. I said it with the Nicki Minaj situation, right? So with the Nicki Minaj situation, we saw cable news. It took it by storm. Obviously, Nicki Minaj is a big celebrity. But when I looked at Twitter and I even looked at their broadcast, the only people I've seen that were put on camera to, I don't want to say attack, but come at her was black woman Joy Reid, black man Don Lemon. I didn't see any of the other really premier hosts have big segments on it. They didn't really speak on it too much. And even with this, now I could be completely wrong. Maybe there are some other analysts that are going to, they have the same type of uh, takes as Stephen A. I just haven't heard them. Or they haven't been pushed out in the forefront. But once again, a black athlete, black media personality, I'm on the attack. So I'm going to watch the video with you guys, play the clip. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. So here's Stephen A. on Kyrie's new stance. Really, it's, it's a new stance. It's Kyrie is doing this because he wants to be a voice for the voices because he doesn't like the fact that people are losing their jobs over vaccine mandates. Let's take a listen. Stephen A., should our position on Kyrie change? Yes, yeah. it should change in regards to Kyrie. Um, it should be even worse than we originally imagined. You know, I have to be, and I try to be, uh, incredibly careful, fellas, uh, in terms of I try to focus on what you do, not who you are. People make mistakes. None of us are flawless. All of us have made mistakes. We'll continue to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. We get all of that. But I've been covering the NBA now for almost 25 years. I mean... This is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. Just flat out stupid. So let me get this straight. So if the reports are true, because we don't know whether they are or not, okay? But let's give credit to Sham and others who have reported this. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, let's go with that, okay? If it is true, Jay, if it is true, Marcus, so you don't have a problem with taking the vaccine? Your position is that you're going to sit up there and compromise the championship aspirations of an organization you signed on to represent. You coaxed Kevin Durant in the signing on to represent. You coaxed, you played the role in coaxing James Harden into signing on to represent. You're going to compromise all of that because you want to give a voice to the voiceless. Really? Now, just the way Stephen, like the way he sets it up and says it, is making it seem like the stance that Kyrie Irving would be taking to be a voice for the voices is just, some sort of like selfish grandstanding thing. We see it going on all around the country. Look at look at Southwest, right? People are flights are getting delayed. Stuff's been going on because a lot of these people don't want to do the vaccine mandate shit. They don't want to get the vaccine. Maybe they don't feel they need it. Maybe they feel like they have natural immunity. Whatever their reason, religious, whatever their reason is, there are people losing jobs because they don't want to get the vaccine. I seen a video a day ago of a nurse being ex escorted out of the hospital because she did not comply with her uh, hospital's vaccine mandates. But Last year, nurses, doctors, these were the greatest people, the biggest heroes on earth. But now you don't want to get the vaccine. We'll push you up out of here. But you guys have actually already been working with COVID patients for the past year and a half. But now you got to go. So I don't see that as a problem. Now, I don't know where in the report it said that Kyrie Irving is cool with getting the vaccine, but he's just opposing it because he wants to be a voice for the people. I don't know. I didn't see that report. But even if that's true, um, 
him bringing KD there, okay. He bringing James Harden there, okay. This is all pre-pandemic COVID-19 vaccine mandate times. Whenever new things come in front of you, your opinion, your actions, they could change. So, yeah, he brought KD on thinking, yeah, we're going to win a championship within the next year and a half, right? Yeah, he brought on James Harden thinking they was going to win a championship, whatever. But he couldn't probably foresee that there was going to be mass vaccine mandates at people's employment going around the country that are causing people their job. And him as a NBA player with a big voice, him stepping up for the people, to me, doesn't look like a bad look. Now, uh, let me let Stephen A. finish off his point. How is that going to work out for you, Kyrie Irving? You're going to disappear from the game of basketball? Who the hell is going to be interested in what you have to say when you have proven that you can't even be trusted enough to do your damn job? A job you volunteered for. This ain't the military where you were drafted. You chose to play basketball. You chose to enter the NBA. You chose to sign that contract as a free agent to go Oh, okay, so you're even going with the more like you chose this, you chose that, but that was like pre COVID 19 vaccine stuff. It ain't like he signed up knowing, like, it ain't like it's free agency right now. You know, uh, New York has vaccine mandates for players who play in the city. Okay, I know that. All right, I, I know they got that. Right, it's there, it's checked off. I'm gonna still sign with them and collect some money. But I'm not going to play. That's dumb. But if you signed two years ago and then something happens two years later and you don't want to fulfill that contract no more, that's life. People can change their opinion. If something happened at ESPN, I don't know what could, what could happen at ESPN that Stephen A. would want to stand against or be in front of that he didn't like. But that's like me saying, Stephen A., you just signed a $10 million contract two years ago. Uh, you made a commitment to ESPN. You did this. So the thing you don't believe in that they now believe in, you have to do just because you signed that contract. No, if he don't want to do it, I respect it. But obviously, you know, media, they got to do their thing. They paid by the, you know, higher ups, all this type of shit. They're probably paid by the NBA to put – we know what's going on. To the Brooklyn Nets. You chose Brooklyn as your destination. You chose the Nets franchise to represent. You asked KD and James Harden. To come on board with you in Brooklyn to establish your own legacy. And then you leave them hanging. Because of what exactly? Your own individual principle? I am not calling Kyrie Irving stupid. Kyrie Irving, I happen to believe, is an intelligent brother. Mm -hmm whose heart is in the right place. But now you've regressed to an alarming level of self-righteousness. It not only makes you look hypocritical and untrustworthy, it makes you look what I know you are not, which is flat out stupid. So I don't, I don't know, man. Cause like with this situation, right? It's just like, I get it. I'm not Kyrie. I can't even understand whatever pressure he going through in his his mind state. But <coughs> if he want to be a voice for people losing their jobs and miss out on money, I can't do nothing but respect that. Because me in that situation, I don't know if that's what I would do. So imagine Stephen A. Say he didn't like vaccine mandates going on at Disney because we've seen Sage still come out. She works at ESPN. Obviously, he works at ESPN. They mandated vaccines for the people. So could you imagine if the biggest because ESPN can't really once they lose Stephen A. It's kind of like it's kind of shaky for him. Could you imagine if the biggest star on the network opposed it, the type of changes that it would create in the building? But obviously, it's not wrong being a company man. But obviously, Stephen A. is a company man, and whatever ESPN say, whatever Disney say, he's gonna roll with it. He's gonna he's gonna do what he got to do. But I'm not going to ever, like, talk shit about Kyrie, especially if this is his reason. Like, if his reason now is, I believe that this is an injustice going on, right? This is an injustice. He believes. I'm going to sit out. I'm not going to play. What's the difference from Jacob Blake gets shot in the back seven times, even though when you watch the video, he said he had a knife, this and that, whatever, whatever you want to think about it. <coughs> he did that. And the basketball players was willing to end the entire season in the bubble. That's ready to end it all for that. 
and everything. But since Kyrie feels like uh, he wants to take the stance for the people in America who are being persecuted. I don't say persecuted. That's a strong word. But you know what I mean. Now, that's the wrong action. So, holding out of basketball games and not wanting to play for you, this team, that team, you put your, you're not on trust, you trust, whatever, whatever you are, it's only okay when it's something you believe in. Now, I don't know, maybe when they held out, Stephen A. did get mad at them and berate them or whatever, but I highly doubt it. Now, you could probably show me the footage of him getting on the ass for maybe one to cancel season. I didn't see it, but tell me what the difference is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. See you guys next time. It's your buddy friend. Peace.